Hello, and welcome to All Care Software's EVV App 2.0 tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to look at our menu items and what those menu items do. First thing we're going to do is log in. Once we log in, it will bring us to the All Timesheets page. And we want to go to the top left to our menu bar. We drop down the menu bar and the first item we see is open sessions. Open sessions are any undesired open sessions that we no longer want open. An example would be sessions uh, logged in from another device or sessions that we never logged out of that the app automatically logged us out of. In this example here, you can see that the flashing green session is the current session that I'm in. And down below here is a session that I logged into from another device that I forgot to log out of. So to increase the app performance for me, what I would want to do is revoke this session by simply clicking on the revoke button and it will close that session from my other device out. Now I just have the one session open and the app should perform much better for me. Next is my dashboard. My dashboard consists of three bits of information. Top left here would be hours worked for the month. Top right is hours worked for the pay period. And down below would be any schedules that were entered by the agency um, for myself uh, and the particular client on that particular day. Those would show up here. Next is our language tab. Pitch, pick which language suits you best. Click on that. It will automatically save and go back to the main screen. Next, we have My Schedules, and My Schedules is for a greater date range than just the current day that we're in. You can change that date range, and then any schedule that the agency has put into the software will show up here for yourself and the particular client that you are scheduled for. Next my menu item is Offline Manager. This is where any data that was recorded in offline mode, um, that would be uh, a mode that such if you were in a remote area and we're not getting good um, cell reception, um, that information would be stored uh, in, the, in, your, in, the, in the app. And then we can upload that information to the software when we get to an area where we have better reception. To do that, you would simply click on the blue uh, ball here with the cloud, and it will upload that information and sync it to the software. Next, we have manual e timesheets. Uh, there will be a, another tu tutorial um, with a complete instruction on how to enter these timesheets. Um, but if you forgot to clock in for yesterday, you can go in here and create a manual timesheet um, and then it will allow you and the client to sign and submit them. Again, there will be a separate tutorial on how to fully complete this. Then we have private pay mileage logs. These are where an employee that who is working for a private pay client can keep track of their mileage. So at the end of a pay period, they can submit the mileage for billing and be reimbursed for those miles. And then lastly, we have the logout button. It is highly recommended that we log out of the app uh, every day in order to ensure that you are getting the most updated version of the app uh, in your on your on your device um, and our running current software. Thank you for joining this tutorial, and we'll see you for the next one.